So as many of you know, I used to be really big in the Sonic fandom. This obsession started when I was about 10, and that was when I really started trying to improve my drawing skills, or at least as much as I could. So of course being the creative kid I was, jumping into this whole new world, I made my own Sonic OC. Her name was SNT. Yes, SNT. SNT was an experiment created by Dr. Eggman. Because original backstory, do not steal. And she went on adventures with Sonic and friends. Also, Sonic had a crush on her. Because of course he did. Now, in my defense, I didn't know much about the internet at the time, so there was no way to see what was cliché in the world of Sonic OCs. Heck, I didn't even know other people created OCs until I got back into Neopets. Anyway, because I was super proud of how original I was, I ended up making a comic about how Sonic and friends met my totally amazing OC. This is a physical thing that I still have and still look through. This used to be my magnum opus, and it took me a whole year to finish it, going through several boxes of colored pencils in the process. I used to be really proud of this comic and this OC. In fact, this fan character is the whole reason my username on any website is Project SNT. So because I like torturing myself, I'm going to share this literary masterpiece with the world's most cynical audience, aka the internet. Sometimes it's fun to look at your old work and see how far you've gotten, or how much your style has changed, and it's funny to cringe at your old work. So let's do just that! Here it is, Sonic the Hedgehog meets SNT. Just look at that cover, Comic 1, implying there would be more issues of this thing. Which, technically there were, in sprite form. But that's another story for another day. Everyone just looks so bad. What's wrong with Sonic's hair? Where are Amy's bangs? Why did I spell Chow like this? Why does Sonic keep starring at s &T? Is he sick? Sick in love? Kill me! We find Sonic and friends searching for Dr. Eggman. He's not in here! This is ridiculous! Why are we searching again? You know, that's a very good point. Why are they searching for Eggman? Shouldn't he be in his base or something? Did he go missing? Or are they just hungry for vengeance? Don't worry, Sonic! Look what I found! What is that? I don't know, but it looks cool! Finders keepers! Quit fooling around, Tails! Eggman could be around here somewhere! And he could be right! Sonic thinks I'm right! Sigh... Like in that building? Good eye, Cream! <laughs> and it's just my first day! So he was in his base? Then what was the point of this random search? Also, this characterization of Tails is completely inaccurate. Hey! It exploded! I must be a jinx! Well, Eggman is dead. Rest in pieces. Yeah, rip. What's that in the sky? Who's that? It's a good thing I got out of there. How did she survive that explosion? How was she able to calmly soar through the air like that after being shot out of an explosion? Also, can you tell that I didn't know how to draw ponytails back then? Wait, I can't fly. That stupid bonehead forgot to give me the power to fly. Look, she's falling! We gotta save her! I'll save her! Sonic to the rescue! There he goes, saving a person he doesn't know. But that's his job, right? I hope that hedgehog catches me. I got her! I got her! So one thing you'll notice about this comic is that people don't shut up. There has to be dialogue in each box for some reason, even though it's not necessary. I guess past me has never heard of show, don't tell. Don't worry, I gotcha! Ah! Hey, you saved me, thanks! No problem! These two should be dead on impact. Or at least severely injured. 
Also, I vaguely remember drawing that mushroom so ST could bounce on it and therefore make the landing less rough, but I decided against it for some unknown reason. Now, where are we? Oh, my head. I think your extra weight triggered a trap door! You're right! How do we get out? There is no exit! Yes, there is. Where? I don't see an exit. Hold that thought. Whoa! And now there is. Sonic is impressed by the fact that ST could hit something by rolling up in a ball, even though most of his friends are able to do the same thing. Why? Because she's special! Come on! Looks like your hole leads to... Eggman's underground base. Well, someone could use a decorating tip or two. Wow, SMT used to be sassy. In my later years of using this character, she became this sort of meek, self-conscious person that was afraid of everything. So it's funny seeing her throw one-liners and act sassy. So, wait, Eggman has two bases? Did he know a Mary Sue OC would eventually blow up his usual base? And to prepare for this, he built another base underground? Props to the man for being self-aware, I guess. Also, I'd like to point out that this orb of mysterious green science liquid is probably the best drawn thing in this comic. Come on! Ah! I know a shortcut! Hold on! How do you know how to get out of here? We'll talk about that later. In the meantime, look behind you. Look behind me? Destroy! Run! Why doesn't Sonic just attack? Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Hey! We're not intruders! We're hedgehogs! Well, sort of. Come on! Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've gotta go. Bye! Destroy intruders! This robot could have easily squashed S while she was sassing, but he didn't because she's special! The chase is on. That robot's pretty fast, too. Fast, but not pretty! Oh no! A dead end! Don't worry, I'll take care of this! What are you, nuts? Eggman's robots are dangerous! So now we're going to fight, huh? Let me guess. S is so amazing that she takes the robot down all by herself while adding in snarky remarks. Destroy! Take this! Ow! What a wimpy robot! Yeah! Yep, called it. And again, more unnecessary dialogue. Hey, it's Chocola! Chahula? Gotcha! Choo -choo. This is Chocola! My friend Cream has a chow, and this is his twin! Twin chows, huh? But why would Dr. Eggman kidnap Chocola? You'll never find out, Sonic! Dr. Eggman! Wait, how is Eggman alive? I guess since he had this underground base, he managed to somehow escape to it before his other base exploded. Also, how convenient Eggman in monitor form shows up to cover up the fact that I never had an explanation as to why Chocola was inside that robot. Whatever you're up to, you'll never get away with it! That's what you think, you meddling swine! Swine? Why I oughta! We've gotta get out of here! I'm right behind you, Sonic. Right. That's my name. All this time we were running around and we don't even know our names. I'm SNT. Nice to meet you, Sonic. Okay, enough of the introduction. Let's go! Choo choo choo! I would point out that Sonic should question how SNT isn't a real name, but then again, he's friends with a guy named Big. Like I said, I'm right behind you. Here we go. What are you getting? Just a little something. Yipe! You know, a cage is so medieval times. That's not what I meant! More sass. And how does a Mobian know anything about medieval times? This was written before Sonic and the Black Knight was even a thing. We've got to get out of here! But I just said that eight panels ago! Yellowwell breaking the fourth wall! Darn! A dead end! Another one? Choo choo! Why don't you bust another hole in the wall? I can't, because the wall is made of plexiglass. But the ceiling isn't! <gasps> Sonic, you're a genius! I am? I'm surprised I used the right kind of your in that sentence. Yet I misspelled genius. How does Sonic know that the ceiling is breakable? Is he going off the knowledge of them falling through the earth? But they weren't in Eggman's base back then. Nah, I think about it. Why was that trap there? And so conveniently close to Eggman's base? I mean, of course I'm a genius. A super cool genius. 
We've got to bust a hole in the ceiling. Okay, I'm not a genius. But I'm still cool. I called you a genius because you gave me an idea. We have to bust a hole in the ceiling? Yep. Uh, I was just kidding. Sonic is an idiot, and this dialogue makes no sense. Sonic, can you throw me on the ceiling? I don't want to hurt you. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Just be careful, SNT. I hope she knows what she's doing. I hope this works. Jesus Christ, stop talking, please. Yes. That's really impressive and all, but how do I get out? Don't worry, Sonic. I've got it covered. Hopefully, this will make me fly. This has got to work. <gasps> hey, my tail's grew. How convenient that she knew exactly where that was, even though she only realized that she couldn't fly seven pages ago. I don't even know what that is. An item box, maybe? I don't even know anymore. What's taking you so long? <coughs> Are you making a rope or something? Not now, I'm busy. Aw, oh, man, not another one! Intruders captured. Hey, let me go! This robot looks way better than the last one, and that's not saying much. Why didn't Sonic just attack instead of using the free time he had to snark? Oh, I know why. Oh, no you don't! That'll teach you to mess with my friends! Come on, Sonic, let's get out of here! How? Like this! Cool! Sonic doesn't question the fact that this is the second person he's met with two tails. In fact, it's implied in canon that Tails got made fun of for having two tails, and that's why Sonic became his friend. But of course, he doesn't question it because he's special! You can fly? I can now! Hey, Sonic, can I stay at your house? What's wrong with your house? Hmm... Oh! Don't worry, you can stay with me! Really? You know, you're kinda cute. Uh... Well, I, um, uh, I... <laughs> choo, 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 choo. Sitting in a... Hey, that's not funny! Totally necessary shipping fuel. Never mind, let's just go to my place. Come on, SNT, follow me! Okay. So that's where my project is hiding. Sorry, Doctor. We couldn't destroy the intruders. They're fast. How are those robots still functional? I'm very disappointed in you letting Sonic get away. Please, don't throw us in the pit of destruction. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Okay, maybe I would. No. Ah! <laughs> Robot genocide is hilarious to Eggman. Sonic's underground cave. Whoa! Cream, you had to put in a slide? Sonic, you're back! Sonic also has an underground base? Also, shut up, Sonic. A slide is a great idea. Cream so far is proving herself to be the smartest character in this comic. Pointing out that Eggman should be in his base, and also building a slide so that people don't hurt themselves trying to get into their base. Look, she even left out a pillow. At least I think that's a pillow. Sonic! I miss you so much! Whoa! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Sonic. That's okay, SNT! Huh? Here comes the obligatory love triangle. Hey, Sonic! Who's your friend? Guys, meet SNT! Nice to meet you. My name's Tails. I'm Sonic's best friend. Hi, I'm Cream, and this is Cheese. Choo! Wait, you're Cream? Yeah, why? Choo? I found a friend of yours. Choo! Chocola! Choo! Choo choo! Hey, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Amy. So happy to meet you. Oh, okay. Also obligatory Amy salt. Hey Sonic, where do I sleep? Whoa, who said you could stay here? Sonic said so. I 
I don't believe you. Sorry, Amy. It's true. What? Why is Sonic apologizing like he knew Amy would be upset over this? Isn't this great, Amy? You finally have someone your own age to hang out with. Ew, Amy. You keep seeming like Amy. Sheesh. Hey, Amy. What you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. You know, your friend Sonic is kind of cute. Cute? Yeah, something tells me girls crush on him. Crush? He's very nice, too. You might even call him boyfriend material. Boyfriend? Why is s &T talking like this? She's not thinking what I think she's thinking. Now listen up, Miss Missy Miss. Let me lay down a few rules. Sonic is mine. Got it? Mine. So don't even think about it. Think about what? You know what I'm talking about. Dating Sonic. <laughs> what? Dating Sonic? That's too funny. Don't play dumb. Really, I wasn't thinking about that. Honestly. Right. S has no interest in Sonic, yet just five seconds ago, she was commenting about how he was boyfriend material in the most condescending way. Because that makes sense. I'm still gonna keep an eye on you. Got it? Uh, okay. Sheesh. Somebody's a little jealous of the new girl. Come on, SMT. Let me show you around. Sonic style. Okay. I'll give you the grand tour. Right behind you. Hey, she didn't even listen to me. Getting a tour from Sonic counts as not listening? Amy, you need to chill. Ugh. This girl is gonna put a dent in my relationship with Sonic. Fine. I'll just have to fight back. And I will win. Oh, yeah. Mark my words, SNT. You have met your match. Um, I can hear you. Hey, what's that? What? What is it? Uh... Amy? So, that was Sonic the Hedgehog meets s &T. I hope you enjoyed this cringe-inducing peek into the mind of my preteen self. But, hey, there are a lot worse things out there, right? At least I'm aware of how bad my art and writing used to be, and looking back at this stuff makes me appreciate how far I've come. So, why don't you try it out yourself? Find some old art, story, or video you made when you were younger. Let yourself laugh or cringe at it, then see where you are now. Maybe it'll give you some confidence in your current work. Or maybe it'll just be endless pain. <laughs>